welcome to the Thursday edition of the DC Today. Uh, a little sell-off in the markets today. The Nasdaq down another 1.8%. Uh, the S&P down 1.65. Uh, and then the Dow itself was down about 1%, 370 points. Um, so you really are looking right now at a stock market that is entirely following the bond market. And what's really interesting is that the yield curve, which has been very inverted, uninverted um, quite a bit today. Now, it's still inverted, but what I mean is the, the severity of the inversion came in quite a bit. As the short end of the curve basically didn't move, um, you know, 90-day bonds, one year, you know, short term, those yields didn't move. And the longer end yields went up about 15 basis points. You got to near 4.5% on the 10-year um, Treasury. So really, you're getting tightening in financial conditions in, in terms of liquidity, cost of capital, uh, from the bond market, even where the Fed has chosen to pause. Uh, at least uh, you're getting that from the long end of the curve. I am starting to wonder, and I need to do more analysis about it. I may end up deciding to turn this into my Dividend Cafe talk tomorrow, uh, my Dividend Cafe um, uh, writing. If quantitative tightening, which has been largely ignored throughout this tightening process, which has largely been assumed to be benign, uh, but has been running as a two-headed monster with the Fed's 525 basis point um, hiking of the Fed funds rate, if perhaps what we're starting to see now is really the the impact of quantitative tightening. Um, you had the, the Swiss National Bank pause their rate hikes uh, a couple months ago when the Fed first paused. You have had the Bank of England kind of surprisingly announce a rate pause themselves. I think that that comes after 14 consecutive rate hikes. And yet all of these bond markets um, have seen the longer their curve go higher. And, and so I do think that quantitative tightening is becoming a bigger play. Now, you are looking at a NASDAQ that is from its pretty recent, how recent are we talking here? Um, ancient history of July, huh? So going into August, you're talking about less than two months and it is down about 1,100 Point. So to put that in perspective for you, I'll give you a percentage. Um, it, it, it's a severe, it, it's, a, it, it's a big deal to have, uh, you know, a seven and a half to eight percent drop in, in less than two months in about seven weeks. And, and yet they, that really is because, and we saw this in 22, the bond market um, impacts the high PE elements much more. Now look, today was a bloodbath in markets and, and healthcare was the best performing sector and it was still down 0.9%. Um, but again, you see real estate, which is much more rate sensitive, was down three and a half. And then in terms of the uh, higher beta stuff I'm talking about, I'll tell you the numbers um, real time here. You, your consumer discretionary, which is very levered, was down almost 3%. Technology and communication services, uh, which are kind of cousins, uh, were both down one and a half percent. So you, that, that's really the story. That's where the NASDAQ came in itself. And I think that that's what you have to expect right now until it changes. Is As bond yields go, so goes the market. If bond yields um, were to go lower, I think it would bring stock prices up. Uh, in other words, there's an inverted relationship between bond yields on the longer end of the curve and stock prices. Um, you, you can, there are some in the news that have reported it, you know, the House coming up four votes short today uh, may have impacted it. That's one of the dumbest takes you'll hear today. So um, yes, there are a few votes short of a House compromise that itself is going nowhere. They're going to end up probably getting a House compromise of a bill that just becomes even more unpassable in the Senate, let alone the White House. 
Um, but the idea that that is what the market's responding to today with the 10 year up 15 basis points, it'd be hard to imagine something more wrong. I'm being nice. Uh, initial jobless claims fell by almost 10% on the week, and, and the pattern has continued. That's part of a trend. Uh, both existing jobless, excuse me, um, continuing claims and initial claims are basically at lows on the year now. Um, existing home sales, by the way, were down about 0.7% in August or down over 15% year over year. So that is the third month in a row of declining sales volume month over month in residential real estate. Um, and I do have a section in the dctoday.com today reiterating why PE ratios are important, uh, answering um, a, a reader's question and how and how this kind of applies to the way we think about valuations it may be worth checking out as a refresher so oil stayed flat today that's more or less the scoop here uh, i'm going to leave it there and i'll uh, know by 4 a.m when i'm writing dividend cafe on tomorrow thanks for listening reading and watching the dc today mm -hmm.